God, we thank you for this beautiful day, this beautiful man standing here in front of us. God, we come before you today on such an incredible day that we get to be a part of with Jessica and Brendan. And Father, we feel your presence so yes, strong Father. today. Rain your blessings over him and Jessica as they step into this marriage, Father, that he would be an amazing husband, an amazing person, spouse, best friend, everything that Jessica needs, she can find in him because God has given him to her and God will give you, Brandon, everything that you need to fulfill the role in which he is calling you to fulfill. So we love you today. We bless you today, Brandon. We are excited. I thank you for this incredible, beautiful woman of God. Thank you that you've given her to us as family, as friend, as a sister, thank you, Father. as an aunt. Thank you, Father. I thank you for her heart. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> thank you for the love that you've given her for Brendan. God, may that never fade or wither. God, that it would grow stronger with every adding day. For you. We stand by you in support, here to hold up your arms when you get tired, here to lift you up when you fall down. We are here, your friends, your brothers, your men. We will be here and we will always be here for you in any moment in time that you need us to be. We love you, we bless you, and everybody lift our voice together and say, Amen. We love you, Lord, and we give you all the glory and the honor. Love you, Jesus, and in your name we pray. We all said in agreement. Amen. Amen. First, before anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to thank God for this moment. I have prayed so many prayers for you and for me and about us and for this. And I am so thankful for his restoration between us. I vow to keep your adventurous spirit alive and explore the unknowns with you. I vow to be your best friend forever, to listen to you, to cry with you, to laugh with you, and to hug you every day. This moment is about you and I making a promise to each other, to God, and to our future children. And should any great differences arise, and should any great differences arise, I vow to work them out. I vow to work them out before God on my knees, before God on my knees, and not break this marriage covenant. As, as long, long as, as we, we both, both shall live. I love you for the rest of my life.
God wants two people together, he'll make it happen. We drove up to this mysterious house. I didn't even know who Jessica was. And we pulled up and Jessica gets in the car. And for the first time in my life, I heard Brandon talk about his feelings and emotions more than he ever had in the past. Jessica, I knew you were the one because you got a curl man to talk. And that right there is a feat. Amen? Amen. Amen. You got a curl man. And he was talking to Jessica until it was late enough to the parentals were asleep, I would, I would add. And he asked me if he should sneak out and see her or not. And I was like, by that time, Brandon and I were really close. I had a major influence on him, and as he did to I. So, and I was a good friend as I was. I told him, I told him yes. I, I convinced him. I would say I convinced him to sneak out. I believe that without my inspiring words of telling him to always sneak out to this mysterious girl and leave me all alone with nothing to do without my best friend, no one would be here. <laughs> America.